Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to our video about left hand comping. So I've actually been getting a lot of questions lately about how to best practice comping with your left hand while playing a melody or improvising in your right hand. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some great exercises and patterns that you can practice to do just that. So without further ado, let's dive right into left hand comping. All right guys, now in a future video, I'm gonna show you some more awesome left hand voicings, but today I'm just gonna show you one voicing. We're just gonna to stick to one chord as we do these exercises, okay? We're just gonna play a C major nine voicing with our left hand. So if we've got C as our bass note, our voicing is gonna be very simple. It's just gonna be three, five, seven, and nine, and that's it. All right guys, so part one of this exercise is gonna be practicing rhythms in your left hand without anything in your right hand, okay? So this is just about getting those rhythms down and being comfortable comping on the off beats in many cases. So we're gonna start really simple. I'll just clap in my right hand, okay? So number one is just gonna be whole notes. Okay, that's easy, right? So now we're gonna comp on two and four. All right, so that's still really easy, right? But now we're gonna get a little trickier here and these are really important things to be able to do. Now we're just gonna comp on the end of one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now if you wanna challenge yourself, you can actually do what I'm doing here. You can snap with your right hand, right? And comp with your left hand. That's gonna be a great way of working on some independence before you start playing scales or improvising in your right hand. Now let's do the and of two. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Cool, right? All right, now let's do the and of three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. All right, and finally, and of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. All right, now to get a little trickier here, we're gonna add in two of these syncopated rhythms. We're gonna do the and of two and the and of four. So one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Now, what if we get a little trickier and do the end of one and the end of four? One, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. All right, guys, so once you've mastered that, I actually would recommend being able to clap or tap your right hand while you do this in your left, okay? And again, I would also recommend doing this with a metronome as well. So once we've got that down, we're gonna start adding in our right hand. So let's keep this really simple, okay? We're just gonna do eighth notes, a C major scale up and down. So it's just gonna be one, two, three, four. 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 All right, so that's pretty easy, right? We can do that one hand, no problem. Now it's time to do our same copying exercises, but with this in our right hand. So let's start with simple whole notes. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool. Now let's comp on beats two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, awesome, we got that down. All right, so now let's try the end of two and the end of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Now you can count these ands out loud if that's helpful, right? We do one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. 
Saying the ands out loud can sometimes help with this exercise. So as we get more advanced, we can do some rhythms that are more hemiolas like Right, so we can get more and more advanced with this. So instead of going through every single possible exercise here, guys, I'm actually gonna leave it up to you to design some of your own if you'd like. So our final step, guys, obviously, is we're gonna remove the scale from our right hand and start being able to improvise with our right hand instead. So take this slow, start with the metronome again, and I want you to pick a very simple progression, if not just one single chord. So as we've been doing here today, let's just stick with our C major nine. Let's try to improvise with some of these different rhythms, starting with the basics and then getting a bit more advanced. So we'll start just with whole notes in our left hand. One, two, three, four. So now let's just comp on two and four. Cool, so obviously that still sounds a little square because really we were probably gonna wanna be comping on the ends of the beats, okay? So this time let's try comping on the end of one and the end of three. One, two, three, four. Quick tip, you'll notice that sometimes when I wanna play a line that gets down into where my left hand chord is, I might just leave out the top note or even the top two notes um, rather than play another voicing. It's just a quick way to continue the rhythm in your left hand but still finish your line in your right hand. Now let's get even more tricky. Let's do a dotted quarter hemiola in our left hand while improvising in our right hand. So that hemiola is gonna be one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so let's give this a shot real quick. One, two, three, four. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. I think you guys now have a lot of exercises to practice and enough info that you might be able to invent a few of your own so that you can really hone in on this stuff. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this lesson, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and tell all your friends about my channel, of course. And if you are new to the channel, please be sure to click subscribe and click the little bell to turn on notifications. That way you will not miss any more lessons just like this one. All right guys, thanks so much and I will see you with a new video next week.